Hey, this is an updated video whereby you've got a header and when you scroll, you want the background color to change and maybe some of the contents within there as well. I'm going to show you how to do that really, really simply right now. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new template because it might be a header that is like forever visible throughout your website, or it might just be a standalone section in a website. OK, so you don't need to do the template bit I'm doing here, but we're going to add new. I'm going to make this a header and I'm just going to call this a header one color like that. <laughs> Weird names, right? So we're going to create that template. We're not going to use any of the pre-existing uh, headers they give us here. We're just going to close that. I'm just going to create a brand new header. Really, really simple this, OK? We're just going to go for uh, two columns. I'm going to make this a full width. Uh, I'm going to have no gap because I like to control everything and I don't really care about the height. This is not a header tutorial, by the way. I'm just dumping stuff in just to show you how we could make it. I'm going to get hold of a image. I'm going to go for this wolf image because I've got two versions of it. I've got this wolf and I've got this like uh, wireframe version. I'm just going to go with the wolf there and insert that. OK, I'm just going to make this a full. So there's the image. It's on the left hand side. I've added a bit of a padding to the section. You'd probably have a better logo, whatever. OK, so I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to give this a class name of L logo like that. We will have another logo eventually we're going to add in, but we'll add that later, OK? And we're going to call that D logo, but this one is called L logo. Now on the right hand side, I'm just going to drop in, um, say, like, I don't know, I'll just drop in an icon list, for instance, like that. And we'll just make it horizontal, OK? And in fact, I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of the icon, like that. And I'm just now going to duplicate, duplicate duplicate like that, for instance. OK, now I'm going to make sure that the icon list and the well, there is no icon here. We just have the text list at the moment. I'm going to make sure it's got a dark color. I'm just going to increase the typography as well to be about 600 just to make it a little bit bold there. OK, so you can imagine that might be items you got in your header, could be a navigation menu, could be stuff like that. Now, this header, OK, I'm just going to give the final thing I'm going to do to it before we get on to actually making the color changes. I'm just going to give it a box shadow. Something like that, because it might be that this is like a sticky header, for instance. In fact, we'll go to advanced, we'll go to motion effect, and we will say that this is a top sticky header. OK, we'll just publish that. Um, I'm going to add a condition and I'm actually going to put this on a test page I've got, which is where we'll show you how this all works. And that test page was called, I think it was called scroll. Yeah, that was the one. There you go. Save and close. So that's just me very quickly rushing through header settings and stuff like that. We've got much better videos on how to do that. Um, that I recommend you watch. OK, so we've got this white background. We've got our logo. We've got our text over there. You know, my navigation menu, stuff like that. What if when you scroll, you want the logo to change and you want the background to change as well? So I'm going to go to this logo and I am going to duplicate this logo. As soon as I do that, it goes under because that is column one. Column two is where we have all the other stuff. So column uh, one, I'm now going to change this image. I'm just going to search for wolf. We're going to put that image in instead. And I'm now going to change this logo to be D logo. I've got L logo and I've got D logo. I'm not actually going to do anything to the text. I'm not going to put a copy. There is a way you can do this where you have copies. You can follow the same approach I'm going to be showing you here. But I'm going to show you another neat little trick. So trick one or tip one is do this approach. And you could replicate this for navigation menu icons phone numbers, you know, other images, whatever you want. Or you could do the second approach that I'm going to do for this when we get to it. So stay with me. So at the minute, we've got two images visible. OK, image one and image two. That's not great. What we now need to do is go to the section and we're going to drop in some code into the section called custom CSS. This is saying that where you have a sticky effect going on, which is what we have here because it's sticky to the top. When you scroll down, the background will go to white which isn't what we want anymore now. So I'm going to change this to be black or you could use hashtag 00000. As soon as I've done that, it's now gone black, but it's done it instantly before we have even scrolled. And I'm going to have to go back a step in a moment. Now, don't worry about the fact that over here, I've just changed the sticky effect for the icon list for the text and the icon to be white. Now we don't have any icons on there, but if you did, you could use this code to also change the color of the icon. So this code here, would allow you to change the background color in the section. And I'm also going to touch the icon list as well. Now, please bear in mind that this over here is. Um, oh, sorry. I just remembered there was something I forgot to do. Ah, I knew there was something. Let me just go back to my icon list in the CSS class. It's, I'm meant to call it items. There you go. 
I forgot to do that. Um, so I've called that items, right? So if you had loads of stuff in there, you could call them items. You could, in effect, use this code to start to mess around with things. However, if you find that it's not working correctly, where it says here, elemental icon list, do a right click inspect, get the, um, the identity of what the widget is you've put in, stick that in, and that will work fine. So elemental sticky effects, items, and then you put in whatever it is. And if it's got, you know, like, sorry, that's text. That one was for the icon. You know, you could have, you'll have different ones for nav menu and stuff like that. You can right click and inspect it. So what we now have is this code. Okay, if I just copy it, okay, delete. That's what it looks like originally. And then it changes to that. But it's now not showing us exactly what we want. I mean, that image doesn't look great now, does it? Because like you're losing the white lines behind it. But just let that go for what we're doing here. We're still not done yet, okay? Believe me, we're not done yet. We still haven't controlled that this image is gonna disappear as well. So I'm now gonna go over to columns, okay? And in the advanced uh, custom CSS, I'm gonna drop some code in here. So let's now just look at explore the code. Remember, D logo was the new one. L logo is the original wall. You're seeing the D logo right now because we haven't done the full scroll effect yet. So the L logo is original. D code is the new D logo new one. So, so at the start, the D logo is not displayed. Display none. When you then scroll, okay, the D logo is now displayed, right? So D logo, it was none, and now it is displayed in line, and the L logo, which was the original logo, can now vanish. So if you had, for instance, um, a navigation menu, and your navigation menu had like a white font, okay, you could call it L logo if you wanted to, and just drop this code in the column again. You could call it L logo. And then when you scroll, the D logo, which is the new navigation menu with a different color scheme, will now activate and become a visible, and the other one disappears. So you can think about how you want to have this effect in. So you can do this in multiple ways. So like I said, in the section, custom CSS, I added in this effect over here. So I said, when you scroll, it just changes color. So I'm not having to duplicate the icon list. Does that make sense? It's gone from a gray to a white color. Or you could use the column approach that I'm doing here, whereby I'm now swapping one out. So I'm gonna swap the, well, I'm not swapping. I'm shutting one image off and, and activating another. You could do the same in navigation menu, icon lists, whatever you want in there, okay? Now, there's a few other things you just need to very quickly do, and then we are done. Go back into your section. Go back to advanced. Uh, please make sure your Z index for your header is 99 or higher. If you don't do that, what will happen is, even though it's a sticky header, what you don't want is for one of your sections due to the way you do Z indexing to suddenly go over your header. So good practice, give it a 99 so it's right at the front or the top even. And the you wanna then go to motion effects and what we now have to do is set an effect offset. What do I mean by that? Well, at the moment, the effect is activated before we've even scrolled. It's gone black, we've got the other image, the icon list has gone white. We don't want that to happen until maybe we have scrolled, say, 50 pixels. So we go to motion effects for the section. Now, if you were to do offset like this, just to show you, it actually pushes your header or your section away from the top, which is not what we want for the sticky top. Leave that as zero. It's the effect onset. If I did 10, it's gonna activate as soon as you hit the mouse. If I go for say 1,000, 1,100, it won't activate until you've scrolled loads and loads and loads. It might be you've got a really big hero banner image or something like that, maybe in the color scheme. It might be a transparent header, and then it becomes a blocky color like black, white, red, whatever you want. But I'm gonna change this to be just 50, okay? And we're going to update that. I'm now going to go over to one of our pages. So here is a test page and it's got the header activated at the top. We have the wolf, we have the icon list in gray, and we have a white background. Watch what happens when I scroll. I mean, look, this, this is a little bit in, this is a little bit weird. Just, just look at that wolf, right? Okay, yeah, it, there, it, is, it is kind of a little bit, um, I, would, I, I do admit it is a little bit blunt in how it appears. So you could add a bit of a transition code there today, so it just transitions in a little bit. But what you now have is the color of the background change. The logo has changed to a different color and it's still in the same place. And so make sure your logos are sized correctly. 
and the icon list goes from a gray to a white. So you could have a navigation menu or, sorry, let me do that properly if I do it like that so you're not seeing the lines. Okay, so look, you're now having that transition. We're, we're using Hello. This is Elemental Pro. Yes, there's a little bit of code, but the code is just for the section and then you stick it into the column as well. If you want to do the L and D logo, please do change it, by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever works for you. And by the way, that code I originally learned from Lightbox. Amazing, amazing guy. And I, and I refined it a little bit to work for what I wanted to do with it. So the code originally came from Lightbox. I've used it many times. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.